Hello, uh, I'm Gordon from Festool, here with our good friends at Havwoods Accessories uh, to explain, give you a quick overview of uh, a machine that came out a couple of years ago now, beginning of 2020, the TKS80. Um, it's based on a machine from America, as you're all probably aware, the, um, the SawStop machine. Uh, we call that SawStop AIM technology, and this refers to active injury mitigation. And the concept is that it reduces the risk of the most serious injuries. There's a mechanism on here, which I'll explain, which will stop you from cutting your digits off. Um, first, a few things about the saw. It comes in two, two versions. It comes as a basic or as a set. And as a basic machine, you simply get the saw table, just this portion here, and the cross-cut fence here over on the side, which I'll go through in a moment. We'll be using that again. Um, and then the set version includes, as everything with Festool, and when you buy it as a set, it's better value, you get everything that we do for this machine. So for example, it comes with a side table, which means you can rip up to 600 mil. Uh, you can get a 610 at a squeeze. Um, you've got a sliding table, that mounts in two positions. At the moment we've mounted it to the rear of the machine, the simple reason being we want to show you the controls and it's better for the camera. But actually this, can, this portion can mount in the front here and that allows you a, a cross cut of 800mm at 20mm thickness, 20mm uh, depth of cut. So for cutting a sheet of MDF you've got 800mm cross cut capacity on this machine as well. Um, the, the, the fences on both sides, the cross cut fence and the rip fence are really adjustable, there's lots of fine controls on it and easy to adjust. Um, in this case you can adjust this to the tenth of a millimetre for ripping, so it's a really useful machine, uh, really accurate saw. One of the great things we want to talk about is the fact that it is a great table saw. Um, we're always talking about saw stop AIM because you know it is a fantastic feature and possibly a lot of you have seen the demonstration we're going to do at the end, um, but basically we're going to prove that it, that it works. Now how does it work? It works on a signal, basically the blade is protected by a signal and the signal can, can, uh, detects conductivity. So basically anything that will conduct an electrical signal will set the machine off and deploy the machine. And what happens if that signal uh, is detected then what will happen is the saw will, will stop and it, the way it stops is that a cartridge fires off a block of aluminium into the blade at high speed and here's one we prepared earlier to stop the blade in five millionths of a second. Guys, that's 10 times faster than your airbag. So it's extremely quick. It's very traumatic, it's a big old bang, so it'll make you jump when it goes off. But one thing it won't do is cut your fingers off. And as you can see with this sample here, this, uh, this cartridge is embedded now completely in the blade and it stops the blade in five millionths of a second. The other thing that happens as well is that the saw blade disappears from the table. So you can't even fall on the blade, the blade's gone. It's under the table by the time you've even thought about it. Um, a new blade and a cartridge, it's gonna cost you probably 150 quid. But guys, what price? One of these. And not only that, think about the, the traumatic event. You know, it's a, tr it's a real serious injury. And I'm sure all of you know somebody who's got a little bit of a finger missing, the tip of a finger or whatever. You know, you lose time off work, you lose earnings. And what about your family? So it's a real emotional subject, uh, but it's an important subject. Uh, and hopefully we'll protect your digits with this device. But I'll give that back to Gavin. Um, the machine, uh, to give you some simple focus on the machine, it cuts 80 millimeters maximum depth of cut. And the cut is really easy to adjust using this control here and you lift and lower the blade and literally probably in a turn, a turn and a half you've gone from 0 to 80 mil. If you want to cut an angle it's really easy, remember the green story from Festool, squeeze the green lever and the black knob together and you can now angle the saw. What you've also got here as well, you've got minus 2 and plus 47 by using this control knob up here if you can just see that. Um, your push stick is nicely stored here and then you have the control panel. Now, um, having said uh, this machine um, detects conductivity, how do you know what you're cutting is conductive? Well, what I'm going to do, and we'll show you in a second, we'll pan back in a second, let's show you these controls first. So in the morning, power the machine on. So large green button, and then normally, uh, first thing in the morning or during the day it might, you'll get these two lights flashing together. And that's just like a diagnost diagnostic routine, it's on startup, and then you get a solid green. That, machines, that means the machine is ready to go. And the start button is here. Now, hopefully you saw that green light flashing. I turned the machine off and the green light is flashing. A really important learning point, guys, here is that if that light is flashing, saw stop is active. So do not be tempted to make your cut and then pull the waste away. 
because when you do that you get too close to the blade even though you've powered it off the machine will deploy so wait till the green light is stopped before going anywhere near the blade a really important fact but as I mentioned earlier what is conductive well let's have a look around for something conductive is aluminium conductive we know this because we can do a self-test so if we touch the blade with that you can see the red light flashing that means the saw stop will deploy okay you can see it flashing there do it again now the best way to do this so for example you've got damp damp timber is simply to touch the blade obviously when it's not rotating but you can see here I put my finger on the blade the red light is flashing so really do a self test do a simple self test before you start and then you're absolutely sure things to make sure you also do remove the nails remove the staples okay uh, anything aluminium will set it off anything uh, with a content of aluminium might set it off so do do a check with the material you're about to cut and as I say timber with a moisture content up to 50% should be okay but if in doubt self test and away you go um, there is a wonderful guide here as well um, this QR code here um, all Festool's new machines now feature in the box or on the tool somewhere you'll find this QR code if you scan that QR code with your phone it will take you to a quick setup guide to the TKS80 and I think there's about 12 or 13 videos there that you can have a look on YouTube which will show you how to adjust the fences how to adjust the rails and so on um, and how to set it up so it's really really useful a um, couple of other practical things before we get to the uh, get to the test for you is um, the storage for everything on the machine so as you can see your push stick is stored here underneath here you've got a storage area uh, and again you'll see this in the quick setup guide there's a storage area for a cross cut fence the machine has wheels at the back because it weighs in at about 35 kilos thereabouts and on the back of the machine you have wheels so you can tilt it and you can move it around um, there's lots of fine adjustments the scales are adjustable as well so you can actually true it to the blade to make sure you're going to get a nice accurate parallel cut um, that covers I think most of the uh, the kit that comes with it um, obviously a cover and guard and everything else um, so I think it's time that we, we did a little cut and we gave it a little test and you can see this machine deploy so give me a minute and we'll be straight back to you okay okay guys um, so now it's time uh, for the big reveal here we have um, in place of my thumb uh, we have uh, a German hot dog sausage of only the best um, and what we have it normally you wouldn't have the blade set this high but it's the best way to see the mechanism work um, and the way it's going to work I'm going to put my hand here and then we're just going to drive it through and you'll see the uh, the saw stop deploy and uh, here we go And here you can see no sausage was harmed in the making of this video um, it's an incredible device you can see the blades gone completely out of the way now you just need to replace the cartridge and blade and again on the um, the app if you check that out you'll be able to see how to change the blade it's not difficult uh, everything you need is uh, is on the app so so stop AIM have woods have them available uh, in stock um, why not give them a try thanks for watching